What's going on, friends? Welcome back to College Sports Corner. It's Thursday, Thursday morning, Thursday mid afternoon, early afternoon, whatever. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, got the rest of today, tomorrow, and the weekend is here, thank God. Uh, got a lot of stuff to go over, got some news items. Uh, can go over the FBS, FCS championship games, gonna go over some basketball stuff. Hope you're having a great day. Um, let's get down to it. Let's get down to some news items real quick. Uh, oh, before we start, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Listen to it at work. I got you working. You know, boss each and say, hey, man, look at John. He's working. And really, you're just listening to college sports talk. Win-win. So, uh, former Virginia quarterback Brendan Armstrong, he's committing to North Carolina State. Uh... He's a good quarterback. I don't know what happened to Virginia. Uh, man, they they were just uh, they were just terrible this year. I don't know what happened there. Uh, this is kind of uh, man, some sad. Uh, Arkansas former Arkansas running back Peyton Hills. He's in ICU after saving his family from a swimming accident. Uh, I guess they were drowning, and he jumped in and saved them. I didn't see the whole story. Uh, he's unconscious in the ICU as. We we uh, wrote this down. He may have improved. I'm not sure. I haven't checked or anything. Uh, helicoptered from the scene. I mean, it was that bad. So uh, prayers to Peyton and his family. I hope they all heal and hope Peyton comes out all right. That's just uh, he sacrificed himself for ones he loved. I mean, I guess that's what it's all about, you know. Um, this, <laughs> this national championship game had the lowest ratings in title game history. I can see why. Uh, after those uh, semifinal games, we got spoiled. Now, we thought we were going to have a good championship game. About halftime, I was ready to check out and watch something else, but you know, I kept watching it because TCU was a second-half team this year, but uh, it didn't happen this game. So, yeah, I can see I can see that happening. Uh, lowest ratings in title game history, yeah. Uh, another sad note here, uh, Air Force offensive lineman Hunter Brown is walking to class, and he just – he just dropped like that. Uh, died right there. They tried to resuscitate him. Nothing. Uh, he was uh, 21 years old from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Um, I haven't heard about what happened to him. But uh, I'm sure that will come out here in the next few days after they do an autopsy and everything. But, uh, uh, yeah, one of the guys who's going to defend our country, he just he just died suddenly. Uh, prayers to you, Hunter Brown, your family, and all your Fellow cadets there at Air Force. Uh, man, that's just a sad, sad situation. Um, Georgia defensive tackle Jalen Carter. He's declared for the NFL draft. Uh, this is a, uh, I don't know if it's a weird story or five players from Division Three Concordia University in Chicago were hospitalized after a grueling practice uh, where they were punished for breaking curfew. So, uh, Coach Steve Keller, he's been temporarily removed from the basketball team. And, uh, yeah, they broke curfew, so I guess he um, ran him into the ground there at practice. And they ended up in the hospital. So, uh, like I said, weird, weird. Uh, NCAA Council votes to limit eligibility for second-time transfers to curb ballooning in portal. Uh, nearly 2,000 FBS players have transferred uh, to the transfer or enter the transfer portal portal following this season. So that's a lot out there. And a lot of them guys aren't going to get picked up. Uh, I saw a story on uh, either SEC Network or ESPN. Uh, one guy in the transfer portal, I forget where he played. He may have been at LSU because they interviewed him in Baton Rouge. And he was uh, a good player. Um, I don't think he was a five-star or anything like that. But uh, he couldn't find a team to go to, so he was driving for UPS. So uh, a lot of them guys to get in there, yeah, they, they don't make it back into football. So I guess the NCAA is trying to cut down back on that. Uh, Northwestern, Northwestern, they have hired a private independent law firm to investigate uh, hazing allegations in their football program. Uh, don't know what went on there, but they got a law firm to check it out now. John Calipari, is he on the hot seat? Uh, a lot of people are giving him heat. A lot of people are giving him crap for this year. Uh, South Carolina beat him 
the other night snapped Kentucky's 28 uh, game home win streak they had. They fell to one and three in SEC play for the first time in three decades. So uh, I'll, people there have ticked off. Kentucky basketball is not what it usually is. Uh, across campus, though, is uh, what's Stoops doing? Is he smirking, smiling, laughing? Don't care. Remember they had that little tiff uh, not too long ago. All right, let's get to these championship games. Did you see the one Sunday, FCS championship game? South Dakota State beat North Dakota State 45-21. Um, man, South Dakota State's quarterback, Greg Gronowski, that guy's pretty damn good. He's 14 for 21, 223 yards, three touchdowns, ran for 50, 57 yards and a touchdown, uh, which was a 51-yard run, by the way. Uh, Johnson, receiver, uh, rusher, running back, 126 rushing yards and a touchdown. Davis, he also rushed for 103 yards and a touchdown. So that backfield really had it going Sunday. Uh, let's see here. Janky, Jake and Janky, 60-yard, uh, 60 receiving yards and two touchdowns in that one. Morgan, 44-yard TD catch. Uh, for North Dakota State, Miller was 18 for 29, 260 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Johnson, 63 rushing yards and a touchdown. Green had a 44-yard touchdown catch. And uh, Staffel, 41 receiving yards and a touchdown. Um, South Dakota State, man, they dominate from the start. Uh, they were up 31-14 to 14 at halftime over North Dakota State, who – Everybody probably knows has been ruling FCS for the last several years. Uh, o line played excellent. Gave uh, Gron Gronowski, Gron Gronowski, how do you say his name? Gave him plenty of time. Uh, if he couldn't find nobody open, he would just run. I mean, he'd run for the first downs and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the Bison's first loss in the FCS title game in 10 appearances. Uh, since 2011, the Bison have only 14 losses and six of them. Or the South Dakota State, their neighbor there. Uh, Jackrabbits have won a school record 14 games in a row since that season opening loss to Iowa, 7 to 3. Remember that? They almost beat Iowa like the first, first week of the season. Uh, probably should have beat Iowa, but they just came up a little short. Um, but yeah, South Dakota State, your FCS champions. Some people online are talking, you know, they're talking about Alabama, they're done. The little dynasty's over. Well, on the FCS side, a lot of people are talking that North Dakota State, their dynasty is done now because South Dakota State, they went to a championship game a couple of years ago when, uh, remember the FCS moved their stuff to the spring because of COVID? Lost to Sam Houston then. But they've been, they've been in the playoffs every year and now they got themselves their uh, first title. So a lot of people are saying things are changing, shifting like they are in FBS. Is that the case? Who knows? Uh, that remains to be seen. You never know. Alabama might come back next year and win the next three. North Dakota State might come back next year and win the next two. Who knows? just remains to be seen. All right. The FBS championship game. Man. Uh, we as football fans are screwed because, like I said, we were spoiled because of those semifinal games that were so damn good. And we get to this game, and it was just uh, – it sucked. I'm going to say it. That game sucked. First quarter was good. The rest of it sucked. Uh, unless you're a Georgia fan. Uh, but I think for the rest of us who are just college football fans who didn't have a dog in the fight, uh, the game sucked. It was. It was lame. Uh, congratulations to Georgia, though. I mean, two in a row. Awesome. Come back next year, see if y'all can do the hat trick. Uh, but, yeah, as a football fan, yeah. Uh, Georgia's Bennett, man. That guy, boy, he's incredible, isn't he? Uh, 18 for 25, 304 yards, four touchdowns, ran for 39 yards, and two more touchdowns. Uh, I don't know if anybody from Houston Texans down the road is uh, is uh, watching this, but uh, there's your draft pick right there, Bennett, because all your quarterbacks right now suck, uh, just like your front office sucks. But your front office sucks, so you probably won't get this guy. So you probably get a third stringer out of some Division three school in the draft, but... Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, Robinson, 42 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Milton had a rushing touchdown. Bowers, seven catches, 152 yards and a touchdown. Uh, McConkey, five catches, 88 yards, two touchdowns. Mitchell had a 22-yard touchdown catch. 
led 38 to 7 at halftime. Uh, they didn't score less than 13 points in all four quarters. No less than 13 points. TCU did show a little bit of life. Um, Dugan, he had that two yard touchdown run, looked like Dugan does. And I was like, all right. Because I think at that point, it was 10 to nothing. Dugan ran in and scored that touchdown. 10 to 7. I was like, all right, TCU's waking up. We're going to have a game. No, that was it. That was it. Uh, he was 14 for 22, 152 yards, zero touch, zero passing touchdowns, threw two interceptions, uh, two yard touchdown run in the first quarter, and that was it. Uh, DeMarcado, 59 rushing yards, 14 carries. Davis, he did have five catches for 101 yards, so he had a decent game. Uh, Georgia defense, five sacks, three turnovers. Uh, O-line and D-line for TCU was just totally dominated. Uh, D-line, yeah. George, Bennett could have, he could, in the pocket, Bennett could have done his homework, cooked himself some dinner, probably watched a movie before he needed to throw the ball. I mean, that guy had all freaking day back there. That was, it was just, both those lines for TCU, they just got manhandled big time. All right, so here's some numbers here. Um, Georgia. 335 passing yards, 254 rushing yards, 589 total, 32 first downs, 9 for 13 on third down, only punted once in this game, four penalties for 30 yards. TCU's numbers, 152 passing yards, 36 rushing yards. I know their star running back was out, but up, you got to step up when you're moving your main guys out. Uh, 188 total yards. That's what most 500 and below teams in uh, around the country do. Not somebody in the national championship game. Nine first downs. That's all they had in this game was nine first downs. Two for 11 on third down. Uh, five penalties for 50 yards. So, a lot of people say, well, they didn't believe they didn't belong there. I think they belong there. I mean, they beat Michigan, and Michigan's a damn good team. I just think they that didn't run into anything like Georgia. Georgia's just on the island by themselves right now. This year they had some close games, but they found a way to pull it out and win those games. Um, would it have been a better game if uh, you know if uh, Michigan had gotten in there or, or, or things were switched around? It was Georgia and Ohio State. You know who knows? But uh, yeah, we kind of got ripped off this year. All of us college football fans. Once again, go once the once again though. Congratulations, Bulldogs, man! Two national championships in a row. And TC, you get. I know your fans are upset, but you got nothing to be. Would you end up uh, thirteen and two? Is that what y'all's final record was? Thirteen and two. Hey, I'm an Aggie fan. I'd love to be thirteen and two right now in January from last year. So didn't go the way you wanted, but y'all had a hell of a season. All right, let's go over some of these big things in basketball. Uh, last Saturday, 11-5, North Carolina beat 8-8 eight, 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 Notre Dame, 81-64. North Carolina's Baycott, 21 points, 13 rebounds. Love had 18 points. Uh, they shot 47% from the field. Uh, Lazuski from Notre Dame, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Sterling and Goodwin, 10 points each in that one. Irish shot 41% from the field. Uh Baycott for North Carolina, he has scored 20 or more points in five straight games. Uh, that was great last year, and he's great this year. Let's see what happens. Uh, number four, 15-2 UConn, beat 9-7 Creighton, 69-60. Um, San Diego for UConn, 26 points, 9 rebounds. Hawkins, 17 points. They only shot 35% from the field, but still won. That's crazy. Uh, Kaluma for Creighton. He led the way 14 points, 16 rebounds. Uh, Numhard, he had 12 points. Creighton committed 13 turnovers in this one. 11-5 VCU beat 9-7 Davidson, 89-72. Uh, Baldwin Jr., 19 points for VCU in that one. Uh, VCU was 62, shot 62% from three-point area, 91% from free throw line, so... That's some good numbers there. Uh, in overtime, 9-7 Nebraska beat 6-8 Minnesota, 81-79. Walker for Nebraska, 22 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists in that one. Battle for Minnesota, 
he had 20 points. Behind him, Garcia had 19 points and 15 rebounds. So, 8-7 uh, Buffalo beat 4-11 Northern Illinois, 80-62. 14-3 uh, Providence beat 11-6 St. John's, 83-80. Uh, Locke for Providence, 20 points. Carter behind him had 19. Soriano for St. John's, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Alexander had 14 points behind him. Uh, number 6, 13-2 Texas beat 9-6 Oklahoma State, 56-46. Uh, man, Cowboys used to be a good basketball team. Uh, Texas, Carr had 12 points. Allen had 11 points. UT only shot 32% from the field. Uh, Boone for OK, for OK State, uh, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Right behind him, 7 points. Uh, Cowboys shot 31% from the field in that one. Uh, UT had a 12-1 to run in the last six minutes of this game. Uh, number 20, 13-2 Missouri beat 8-7 Vanderbilt, 85-82. For Missouri, Brown had 18 points, 8 rebounds. Hodge behind him at 17 points. Game was tied at 34 at halftime. Um, Galston from Missouri came off the bench, 18 points. Uh, Robbins for Vanderbilt, leading scorer, 16 points, 7 rebounds. 5 and 11, Florida State beats 8 and 7, Georgia Tech, 75 64. Cleveland for Florida State, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Number 16, Duke, who was 12 and 4. At the time of this game, uh, beat eight and eight Boston College by one point, 65-64. Whitehead for Duke had eighteen points. Uh, Ten and eight Fairleigh Dickinson beat two and fourteen Long Island, one hundred one to eighty nine. Eleven and five Milwaukee uh, beat uh, eleven and six Purdue Fort Wayne, seventy four to seventy. Milwaukee's Pullian, nineteen points in that one. Eight and seven Florida beat eleven and. For Georgia, 82-75, uh, paying them back for football. I'm sure that's what that was. Uh, Florida's Lofton, 18 points. Richard behind him, 14 points, 9 rebounds. Florida shot 49% from the field. Uh, Georgia's Roberts, 25 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Uh, they shot 50% from uh, three-point land. Number 7, 13-2, Alabama beat 10-5, Kentucky, 78-52. Alabama's Miller, 19.7 rebounds. Behind him, Sears had 16.6 rebounds. Alabama's 48% from the field, shot 69% from the free throw line. Kentucky's Reeves came off the bench, scored 20 points. Behind him, Wheeler had 15 points. They shot 29% from the field. Wow. Um, free throw shooting a little better, 63%. But hey. uh, UK, or Kentucky, Three starters were scoreless in the first half of this game. Um, never say this guy's name right. Shibwe, Tashibwe, Shibwe, Tashibwe. He only had four points and six rebounds in the first half. I mean, that, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, I can see why people are pissed at Calipari and the, the program. 10-5 uh, Illinois beat number 14, 11-3 Wisconsin, 79-69. Shannon Jr. for the Lion Eye, 24 points, 8 rebounds. Hawkins, 20 points, 5 rebounds. They shot 47% from the field, 53% from three-point land, 73% from the free throw line. Uh, Wisconsin Hepburn, 22 points behind him. Crowell had 20 points, 12 rebounds. Uh, they shot 43% from the field. This is Illinois' fifth straight win over the Badgers. And uh, Wisconsin's six-game home winning streak was broken by the Illini that game. Uh, 11 and 6, UNC Asheville beat Campbell 58 55. Pember had 22 points for UNC Asheville. Uh, 7 11, Stonehill College beat 4 and 14, Central Connecticut State 51 49. 14 and 1, Florida Atlantic beat 11 and 5, Charlotte 71 67. Martin for Florida Atlantic 17 points. Williams for Charlotte, 16 points. Florida Atlantic's playing some good basketball. Uh, six and nine, Charleston Southern beat five and twelve Presbyterian, 67-61. Four and eleven, Eastern Michigan beat six and nine Central Michigan, 62-56. 12 and four, Memphis beats 10 and 7 East Carolina, 69-59. Uh, Memphis is Williams, 19 points, four rebounds. Johnson, East Carolina had 15 points. 
13 to 4 Marquette beat 5 and 12 Georgetown 95 73. 99 Sacred Heart beat 4 and 13 Hartford 78 71. 10 and 7 Hofstra beat 6 and 10 William and Mary 75 62. Uh, 13 and 4 Indiana State beat 9 and 8 Illinois Chicago 80 to 60. 7 and 10 Illinois State beat Evansville 69 61. 12 and 5 Youngstown State beat 3 and 13 IUPUI 105 to 74. Damn. Uh, number 25, 12-2, Iowa State beat number 17, 13-2, TCU. Not a good week for TCU. 69-67, uh, Iowa State's Kalsher, 15 points, Lipsy, the, the Lipsy at Holmes, 10 points each. King came off the bench. He scored 12 points. Uh, TCU's Miles Jr., 18 points. Bow, 17 points, 7 rebounds. Um Iowa State's culture, Kalshu, however you say it, hit three point with 1.3 seconds left in the game. TCU's 11 game win streak was ended that day. Uh, 12 and 3, Mississippi State beat 8 and 7 Ole Miss. 64 50, 54. Um, man, Mississippi State piling it on Ole Miss this year, huh? Let's see what happens in baseball and softball. Uh, McNair from Mississippi State, 13 points, 7 rebounds off the bench. Uh, Merle for Ole Miss, 19 points. They thought the uh, shot 36% from the field. Turned the ball over 14 times. 10-6, uh, George Mason defended the defeated Loyola Chicago, 86-75. 9-7, Drexel beat Monmouth, 67-35. 14-3, UNCW beat NC A&T. 66-61. Uh, Harden Hayes, 25 points, 6 rebounds for UNCW. Uh, let's see. In overtime. Overtime game. LaSalle beat Rhode Island, 77-75. Uh, I put this one down because of uh, what's been going on between North Dakota and South Dakota. So I've got these games here. 6-11, North Dakota State beat 8-9, South Dakota, 73-61. 8-9, South Dakota State beat North Dakota, 60-59. to I'll put those games down because if you've seen any of the recent uh, signs at these games, South Dakota State says, we're the better Dakota. So I think these two states are having a little bit of a border war there. 8-8, uh, eight eight, Northern Iowa beat 12-5, Southern Illinois, 69-57. Uh, Northern Iowa's born, 27 points in that one. 13 and 3, Fordham beat St. Joseph, 66 54. 10 and 5, Tulane beat 9 and 8, Temple, 87 76. Uh, Tulane's Forbes, 22.6 rebounds. Tulane basketball team is playing damn good ball, just like their football team did this year. Uh, 10 and 5, UMass lost to 8 and 8, George Washington, 81 73. Uh, George Washington's Bishop the Fourth, 26 points. In this one, uh, 10 and 7 Chattanooga beat 5 and 12 VMI 87 or 85 78. Uh, 9 and 7 Western Illinois beat 10 and 8 Denver 91 74. 11 and 4 Michigan State beat 9 and 6 Michigan 59 53. Uh, Hager for Michigan State 15 points, 4 rebounds. Hall came in off the bench, he scored 15 points. State shot 38 percent from the field. Uh, Dickinson for Michigan, 18.7 rebounds. They shot 35% from the field. Uh, this was the lowest scoring game for both Michigan State and Michigan this season. So, 12-5, uh, and five, Stephen F. Austin beat 11-5, and five, Grand Canyon, 73-68. 8-7, South Carolina Upstate beat 8-8, eight eight, High Point, 76-57. In overtime, 10 and 6 Old Dominion beat 10 and 2 Georgia Southern, 81 75. 12 and 4 Seattle beat UT Arlington, 76 61. Tyson had 20 points for Seattle. Um, let's see what else we got here. 14 and 3 Southern Miss beat UNL Monroe, 65 60. Uh, Pinckney, 24 points for Southern Miss. Uh, 11 and 6 Bradley beat Val Pasario, 88 66. Well, 11 and 5 Wake Forest beat Louisville 80 72. Louisville's just horrible now, aren't they? Uh, Masanto, 21 points for Wake Forest in that one. 10 and 7 Moorhead State 
beat Eastern Illinois 69-59. 13-4 Marshall beat 7-8 Coast or yeah, Coastal Carolina 81-66. Kinsey for Marshall, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. Um 12 and 3 Kent State beat Miami of Ohio 69-66. Carry for Kent State, 31 points in that game. Kent State's a good basketball team this year. Uh, number 8, 13 and 2 Tennessee beat 7 and 8 South Carolina, 85-42. Uh, um I think it's how you say the name for Tennessee, Nakama. 21 points, 10 rebounds. I do 15 points off the bench. Vascovi, 12 points, 4 rebounds. Uh, South Carolina's Johnson. 19 points, two rebounds in that one. Uh, Clemson, 13-3 Clemson beat 11-5 Pitt, 75-74. Hunter for Clemson, 17 points, five rebounds. Leading score for Pitt was Burton, 28 points, six rebounds, four assists. Not bad. Uh, Clemson shot 47% from the field. Pitt shot 40%. Let's see here. 12-5 uh, Furman beat Eastern Tennessee State, 56-70. Uh, 10 and 7 West Carolina beat Mercer 73 45. 10 and 7 Montana State beat Northern Arizona 69 54. Uh, 14 and 3 Nevada beat 11 and 6 San Jose State 67 to 40. Lucas for Nevada 12 points. Davidson came off the bench, scored 15 points, had nine rebounds. Uh, leading score for San Jose State was more 10 points. Mm. Uh, what else we got here that happened? Uh, 12 and 3 San Diego State beat Wyoming 80 to 75. Uh, 12 and 2 UC Santa Barbara beat Cal Poly 62 57. 12 and 5 Longwood beat Winthrop 85 71. 11 and 5 Norfolk State beat Maryland Eastern Shore 57 46. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Next one. Do, 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 do. Number 18, 13 and 3 Xavier beat 8 and 8 Villanova, 88 to 80. Uh, Fremantle for Xavier, 29 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. Whitmore for Villanova, 26 points. Uh, Xavier turned the ball over 14 times in this game, still won. This is their first victory at Villanova since joining the Big East 10 years ago. Uh, that's crazy. You figure they would have won one, some here and there, but. Evidently not. Uh, number 11, 11-3 11 Virginia beat 10-6 Syracuse, 73-66. Franklin for Virginia, 16 points, 6 rebounds. Beckman behind him, 13 points. They shot 43% from the field, 46% from three-point land. Uh, Gerard the three, the third for Syracuse, 19 points. Mintz, 18 points. They shot 44% from the field. Uh, Virginia has won eight of the last nine versus Syracuse. Number 23, 16-1, Charleston beat 9-7, Delaware, 75-64. Bowling for Charleston, leading score, 13 points, 8 rebounds. Davis was the leading score for Delaware, 18 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, this is Charleston's 15th straight win. Um, what else we got here? Let's see. 11-6, Belmont beat Missouri State, 74-61. Uh... 12 and 4 Sam Houston beat 8 and 8 Tarleton State 75 68. 14 and 2 Arizona beat Washington State 61 74. Tubalis for Arizona 29 points, 14 rebounds. Um, no way, did I read that wrong? Washington State beat number 2 Arizona 14 and 2. I think it's the Arizona one. No, Washington State won. They beat number two, Arizona, 74-61. Uh, Washington State's guy, 24 points, 14 rebounds. Mullins, 13 points off the bench. They shot 39% from the field, 85% from the free throw line. For Arizona, Tubalus, 29 points, 14 rebounds. Bell, 11 points, 6 rebounds. 32% from the field, 60% from free throw line. Uh, this was Washington State's first win over top five opponent in 122 years of basketball. Uh, snaps a 37-game losing streak to top five opponents. Pretty incredible. Good for them. 9-7 uh, Richmond beat 12-5 Duquesne, 75-73. Burton for Richmond, 23 points, 8 rebounds. 
Number three, 14 and one Kansas beat 10 and five West Virginia, 76, 62. Uh, Kansas Dick had 16 points, five rebounds. Mitchell for West Virginia, 15 points, five rebounds. In overtime, 14 and one Kansas State beat number 19, 10 and five Baylor, 97, 95. Um, Noel for Kansas State, 32 points, 14 assists. Johnson had 24 points, nine rebounds. For Baylor, Flager, 23 points. George behind him, 22 points, five rebounds. Wildcats back then on that day were 3 0, Big 12 for the first time in 10 years. Uh, all their wins are against ranked teams, too. So they're doing pretty good this year. Uh, Baylor's first three game losing streak in three years. 10 5, Texas AM beat 12 3, LSU, 69 56. Dennis and Marble for the Aggies, 17 points each. They shot 48% from the field. LSU's Miller, 16 points. They shot 35% from the field. Um, Aggies with that win in the 10 game losing streak to LSU. Uh, 12 and 5, Drake beat Murray State. 82-64, 13-3 North Texas beat Middle Tennessee, 56-51. 12-4 Princeton beat 12-4 Cornell, 75-68. Uh, what else we got here? 10-6 Towson beat Stony Brook, 67-55. 12-4 Boise State beat Utah State, 82-59. Uh, Dugenhart, 19 points, 10 rebounds for Boise. 11-5 Yale beat Harvard, 58-54. Uh, in overtime, 10-5 OU beat 10-5 Texas Tech, 68-63. Uzan and Hill for Oklahoma, 18 points. Oklahoma shot 42%. Harmon, Texas Tech, 23 points, 4 rebounds. 9-7 uh, Oregon beats 12-5 Utah, 70-60. Dante for Oregon, 17 points, 12 rebounds. Um, Anthony for Utah. 15 points, 10 rebounds in that one. 11 6 Southern Utah beat Abilene Christian, 74 72. 88 7 Florida International beats 12 4 UAB, 90 87. Jones had 29 points for Florida International. 13 4 Florida Gulf Coast beat North Florida, 82 57. 13 4 Utah Valley beat UT Rio Grande Valley, 75 61. 13 4 North Carolina State beat 11 and 5 Virginia Tech 73-69. Smith for the Wolfpack 22 points, 5 rebounds. Joiner behind him 21 points, 8 rebounds. Uh Padola for Vautech 19 points, 5 rebounds. Vautech went on a 10 to 2 run with 40 seconds left to get within 3 of North Carolina State. Couldn't pull it off. Uh, nine and eight Apple App State beat eleven and six James Madison seventy one sixty two. Uh, twelve and four Louisiana beat Georgia State seventy eight to seventy. Thirteen and six BYU beat San Diego uh, sixty eight forty eight. Eleven and six Kennesaw State beat twelve and five Queens seventy six sixty seven. Young blood for Kennesaw State twenty two points. Uh, 13 and 6 St. Thomas, Minnesota beat Nebraska Omaha 80 to 68. 13 and 3 Oral Roberts beat UMKC 74-71. Uh, number 22, 12 and 3 Auburn beat number 13, 12 and 3 Arkansas. Pretty good game. I'll watch this one. Uh, Green Jr. for Auburn, 19 points, 3 rebounds. Flanagan, 18 points, 8 rebounds off the bench. For Arkansas, Black, 23 points, 7 rebounds. Council the fourth. 14 points. Uh, Auburn's Green Jr. scored four points in the first 14 seconds of this game. They started off on fire. I was like, oh, hell, here we go. Uh, Arkansas never led in this game. Razorback shooting was bad, too. They're usually a damn good shooting team. I think they're one of the best, if not the best, in the SEC. Uh, Saturday night, no. They are 34% from the field, 13% from three-point, 59% from the free-throw line. Turned the ball over 12 times. Uh, they were there, but they weren't right on the doorstep of Auburn. But they, you know, they Auburn was letting them hang around. So still a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, nine and eight Seton Hall beat ten and seven Butler, 67-51. 12 and five SIUE beat Southern Indiana, sixty nine fifty two. Uh, nine and seven Cal State Fullerton beat twelve and four Hawaii in overtime, seventy nine seventy two. 
10 and 5 UC Irvine beat Long Beach State 87-70. 14 and 4 St. Mary's beat Portland 85-43. 11 and 6 Colorado beat 7 and 9 Oregon State 62-42. Uh, another good one. Only caught the second half because I was watching Auburn and Arkansas. Uh, 12 and 3 UNLV beat number 21 14 and 2 New Mexico on their home floor 84-77. Uh, Harkless for UNLV, 25 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Gilbert, 14 points, 3 rebounds. Uh, for New Mexico, Udiz, Udez, Udez, 22 points, 13 rebounds. Mashburn Jr., 19 points in this one. Lobos led by 5 points at the half. They shot 43% from the field, 64% from the free throw line. Turned the ball over 16 times in this game. Rebels shot 52% from the field, 75%. From the free throw line. Uh, number nine, 14 3 Gonzaga. Be 14 and 5 Santa Clara, 81 76. Uh, Hickman and Timmy from Gonzaga, 20 points each. Strother had 18 behind them. Uh, Justice for Santa Clara, 22 points. Gonzaga, both Gonzaga and Santa Clara, shot 47% from the field. 12 and 7 San Francisco be 12 and 6 Loyola Marymount 72 to 70. Roberts for San Francisco 21 points. Rich Wayne 18.6 rebounds off the bench. Uh, Leo Pepe from Loyola Marymount 22 points, 6 rebounds on that one. On Sunday, 10 and 6 Iowa be 11 and 5 Rutgers 76 65. Sanford for Iowa 22 points, 5 rebounds. Spencer for Rutgers have 13 points, 5 rebounds. Rutgers shot 80% from the free throw line. Number, no, 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 no. Number one, 15 1 Purdue beat 11 and 5 Penn State, 76 63. Purdue's Edie, 30 points, 13 rebounds. Pickett for Penn State, 26 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. Purdue shot 55% from the field, 44% from three point land. Uh, number two, 16 and 1 Houston beat 11 and 6 Cincinnati, 72 69 or 70, 72. 59. Walker for Houston, 21 points, 5 rebounds. Adams Woods for Cincinnati, 19 points, 4 rebounds. Cougars shot 46% from the field. Bearcats shot 35% from the field. 12 and 3, Northwestern beat number 15, 10 and 5, Indiana, 84 83. Uh, Northwestern's Bowie, 26 points. Indiana's Hood Shafino, 33 points. Good game for him. Uh, Northwestern, 46% from the field, where Indiana was 52% from the field. And uh, Hoosiers turned the ball over 16 times in that loss. 11-5, Maryland beat number 24, 10-5, Ohio State, 80-73. Young for Maryland, 30 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, Sensabaugh for Ohio State, 22 points, 7 rebounds in that one. Uh, what else we got here that happened? 11 and 6 UMBC beat Bryant 81 to 73. Uh, 12 and 4 Central Florida beat SMU 85 53. Horton for Central Florida 21 points. 12 and 3 American beat Boston 76 74. Uh, 11 and 5 Siena beat Ryder 68 63. Uh, Stormo for Siena 24 points in that one. 12 and 5 Quinnipiac beat 11 and 5 Iona 81 58. Jenkins for Quinnipiac, 17 points, 5 rebounds. Jones for Iona, 23 points, 9 rebounds. 13-3 uh, Arizona State, be 9-8 Washington, 73-65. Uh, Cambridge, 18 points, 4 rebounds for the Sun Devils. Neal came off the bench, 14 points. Uh, going to Monday, Norfolk State, who's 12-5, beat Delaware State. Uh, Bryant Jr. for Norfolk, 20 points in that one. 15-2 New Mexico beat 13-4 uh, beat Oral Roberts, 82-75. New Mexico's Mashburn Jr., 24.7 rebounds. Abamas, Abamas for Oral Roberts, 26.5 rebounds. That was the highlights for Monday because, you know, Monday the national championship game. All the rest of the games they had, not really all that big of a deal. 12-6 uh, St. John's beat Butler 70, on Tuesday. St. John's beat Butler 72-61. Soriano for St. John's, 20 points, 10 rebounds. 
Nine and seven Ohio beat eleven and five Ball State seventy six seventy one. Twelve and six Belmont beat Valpasario seventy four fifty nine. Twelve and three Kent State beat ten and six Toledo seventy five sixty three. Twelve and five Dayton beat thirteen and four Fordham eighty two fifty eight. Holmes the second for Dayton thirty two points six rebounds. He was twelve for fifteen from the field eight for ten from the free throw line. Uh, Fordham, leading scorer is Richardson, who came off the bench and scored 13 points. 9-7 Florida beat 12-4 LSU, 67-56. Castleton for Florida, 18 points, 7 rebounds. 12 of those points came from free throws, though. Uh, he was 3-6 for six from the field. Williams for LSU, 23 points, 7 rebounds. 12-4 Michigan State beat 11-4, uh, number 18 ranked Wisconsin, 69-65. Hauser for Michigan State, 20 points, 8 rebounds. Crowell for Wisconsin, 19 points. Number 11, 15-1 Kansas State, beat 9-7 Oklahoma State, 65-57. Null, Nowell for Kansas State, 20 points, 5, five rebounds, 7 assists. Boone for Oklahoma State, 23 points. And the game we was talking about, snap Kentucky's uh, winning streak at home. 8-8 eight eight South Carolina, beat 10-6 Kentucky. 71-68. Crazy. Kentucky is 10-6, isn't it? Uh, Johnson Jr. for the game caught 16 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. And uh, Kentucky's Tashibwe, Tashabwe, however you say it. He ended up with 19 points and 12 rebounds after only scoring 4 points in the first half. Maybe we talked about that. 12-5 uh, VCU beat Loyola Chicago 78-64. 13-5 Drake beat Illinois Chicago. Uh, I don't know why I didn't write down the score, but trust me, Drake won. Number 14, 13-2 Iowa State, beat 10-6 Texas Tech, 84-50. Uh, Cashewer for Iowa State, 25.7 rebounds. Harmon for Texas Tech was the leading score, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Number 21, 13-3 Auburn, beat Ole Miss, 82-73. Green Jr. had 23 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists for Auburn in that one. 11-5 uh, Illinois beat Nebraska, 76-50. Shannon Jr., 25 points. Uh, what does that say? 11 rebounds for Illinois. Number 2, 15-1 Kansas beat 10-6 Oklahoma, 79-75. Adams Jr. for the Jayhawks, 22 points, 6 rebounds. Followed by uh, Wilson, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Sherfield for Oklahoma, 25 points, 4 rebounds on that one. Number 13, two, uh, 12 and 3 Virginia beat 11 and 6 North Carolina, 65 58. Uh, Vanderplas for, for Virginia, 17, eight, 17 points, 8 rebounds off the bench in that one. Uh, Davis for North Carolina, 16 points. Number 5, 14 and 2 Tennessee beat Vanderbilt, 77 68. Phillips for Tennessee, 15 points, 6 rebounds. 12 and 6 San Jose State beat Fresno State. <clears throat> 74-64. Cardenas for San Jose State, 20 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists. 14-3 Utah State beat Wyoming, 83-63. Funk in that game, 22 points, 5 rebounds. Um, number 23, 13-3 San Diego State beat Bradley, 74 to beat them. No, 13-3 San Diego State beat 14-4 Nevada, 74-65. Bradley, it's the name of the leading score for San Diego State, 17 points, 10 rebounds. Butler behind him, 15 points. Nevada's Davidson, 17 points, 7 rebounds off the bench. Wednesday, 10 and 8 Army be 12 and 4 American by 12 points. 15 and 3 Lumas Lo UMass Lowell beat Vermont by 15 points. Uh, 11 and 6 Bryant beat Albany, 86-69. Number 16, 14 and 2, Miami beat Boston College, 88-72. Wong had 22 points for Miami. 11 and 7, Colgate beat Boston, 77-71. Number 12, 14 and 3, Xavier beat Creighton, 90-87. Bohm for Xavier, 26 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. 13 and 5, Duquesne beat St. Joseph, 92-80. Uh, Gunn Jr. for Duquesne, 26 points in that one. 13-5, Furman beat Mercer, 84-66. 12-4, uh, Georgia beat 12-4, Mississippi State, 58-50. Roberts for Georgia, 16 points in that one. Moore for Mississippi State, 15 points in that one. 
12 and 5 Penn State beat 10 and 6 Indiana 85-66. Lundy for Penn State 22.6 rebounds. Jackson Davis for Indiana 14 points, 11 rebounds in that one. 11 and 7 Hofstra beat Monmouth 77-57. Number 24 13 and 4 Duke beat 11 and 6 Pitt 77-69. Filipowski for Duke 28 points, 15 rebounds. He was 8 for 14 from the field, 11 for 13 from the free throw line. And for Pitt, Burton led the way, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. 13-5 Southern Illinois beat 13-5 Indiana State, 69-61. Number 25, 14-4 Marquette beat number 6, 15-3 UConn, 82-76. Ego Hodaro, Ego Daro for Marquette, 19 points, 3 rebounds. Klingon for Utah came off the bench, 20 points. 10 rebounds. Uh, 11 to 6 Syracuse be 11 to 6 Virginia Tech, 82 to 72. Syracuse is Gerard the third, 24 points. Uh, Basil for Vaughn 26 points, 10 rebounds. 11 to 7 Chattanooga be Western Carolina, 95 76. Number 4, 14 and 2 Alabama be number 15, 12 and 4 Arkansas, not a good week for Arkansas, 84 to 69. Sears for Alabama, 26 points, 4 rebounds. Clowney had 15 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, for Arkansas, Davis, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Graham came off the bench, 16 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, top SEC score, Miller. <laughs> uh, no shots in the first half. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, ended with 14 points. That's crazy, though, when you're leading score in the SEC and no shots in the first half, huh? Uh, 11 and 5 Baylor beat 10 and 6 West Virginia, 83 78. George for Baylor, 32.7 rebounds. Nice. He was 10 for 18 from the field, hit five three pointers in this game. Uh, Toussaint for West Virginia, 20 points, came off the bench and did that. Number 22, 17 and 1, Charleston. Keep an eye on Charleston. They're on a roll this year. Beat 14 and 4, UNCW, 71 69. Uh, Bolon for Charleston, 16 points, five rebounds. White for UNCW, 16.8 rebounds. In two overtimes, 13-4 UCF beat 12-5 Memphis, 107-104. Man, got their NBA teams. Uh, Central Florida's Horton, 30 points, 3 rebounds, followed by Kelly, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, off the bench. And then Suggs had 17 points, 6 rebounds. Memphis side, Davis, 42 points. Five rebounds, four assists. Wow. Uh, McCadden, 18.7 rebounds. Kennedy came in off the bench. He had 14 points, three rebounds in this one. Uh, Central Florida actually hit a last-minute three-point in regulation to force overtime and came back and won by three points. Uh, they made 16 three-point shots in that game. Uh, man, sorry I missed it. <laughs> Um, uh, 12 and 6 Bradley beat Evansville 91 46. Uh, took overtime for 15 and 1 Florida Atlantic to beat 8 and 8 Florida International. Uh, 11 and 6 St. Louis beat George Mason by 1. 14 and 3 North Texas beat Louisiana Tech 67 65. 10 and 7 Middle Tennessee beat 11 and 5 Rice 71 68. Lawrence for Middle Tennessee 21 points, 5 rebounds on that one. Uh, number 11 and 5, Tulane beat SMU 97 88. Forbes for Tulane, 31 points, 7 rebounds. Number 1, they went to number 1. 17 and 1, Houston beat 7 and 10, South Florida 83 77. Sasser for the Cougars, 31 points. She, 20 points, 6 rebounds. Harris for South Florida, 31 points. Uh, 11 and 5, Texas A&M beat number 20, 13 and 3, Missouri, 82-64. Radford for Texas A&M, 16 points, 6 assists. Uh, Brown for Missouri, 12 points, 5 rebounds. 12 and 6, Cincinnati beat East Carolina by 28 points. 12 and 5, Wake Forest beat Florida State by 15 points. 14 and 3, Clemson beat Louisville, 83 to 70. 12 and 5, Rutgers beat 12 and 4, Northwestern, 65-62. Uh, number 10, 14 and 2 Texas beat. Number 17, 13 and 3 TCU, 79 75. 
Allen for Texas, 17 points, 5 rebounds. Miller for TCU, 21 points, 4 rebounds. 10 and 6, Western Kentucky beat 12 and 5, UAB 80 to 78. 11 and 5, UC Irvine beat Cal State Fullerton by 5. 11 and 6, UC Riverside beat UC San Diego by 6. 13 and 2, UC Santa Barbara beat Cal Bakersfield 60 to 48. 14 and 4, Utah Valley beat Cal Baptist 71 67. 13 and 4, Boise State beat 12 and 4, UNLV 84 66. Boise State's Degenhart, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists. UNLV's Gilbert, 14 points, 4 rebounds. And UNLV led that game at halftime. That is it. Done. Finally. A lot of basketball. Hey, y'all have a great day. Uh, you got the rest of this day. And then Friday, and it's the weekend is here for us, thank God. Got some good games this weekend. Uh, keep an eye on those. Uh, some really good basketball matchups coming up. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Be safe. We'll be back next week, and see you later.